Here we are at Max's Garage Mahal. It says it right there. And today we're going to be talking about, if y'all remember, when you go back and look at some of my earlier videos, you'll see that I took a plastic welding gun that was 110 volt, 50 watt, and it didn't work. Put in one staple, just one. And it comes with four different types of staples, all the same size diameter. And I did about 12, 15 iterations on that before I finally really got that thing tuned in and tweaked where it should be. And after I got through with it, it, uh, it weighed about six ounces less than the original as it came from the factory. And as you can see, it is cordless. Here's the charging port. And now I don't, I'm going to put a light on it somewhere in here. Probably right near, I don't know, maybe down here. But I'm also going to put an external fuse so that if I blow the fuse, pop the fuse out, pop another one in. Okay, that said, this thing works perfect, has not blown any fuses. So I got in, we saw that video and they said, hey, we got a much improved version of yours. That's to be seen. And it comes from DIY Tool Life Z. Pretty neat. I just dropped all the stuff on the floor. All right. That's part of it. You got a user manual. Got a pretty picture on the front. Shows you where you use your, your various staples, which makes sense because if you've never done this, you might not really have a clue. But I'm thinking this stuff is pretty simple stuff. I don't think any of us here are pea brains. But now I will say this for it. it uh, it's pretty. And another thing I like. It's got these real long tips and it's got some longer tips that you can add to that. And it takes a Milwaukee Red Fuel M18 battery or M18 Red Fuel, however you want to say that. And this thing don't weigh hardly anything until you put a battery on it. And once we put this big old heavy battery over here, now I just happen to have laying here a 6 amp hour battery. Anyway, the thing weighs about half again as much as the tool. So, I'm going to show you what this one does when you plug it in. It's got a light on it right there to shoot up more or less where you're working. And it's got a, it's got a lock on it so you can hold it. You can squeeze the trigger, push the lock, and it'll stay on. I have no idea why you'd want to do that unless you plan on burning something up. <laughs> but anyway... Um, this one right here has a cooling fan blows air out the back and I suppose that's pretty neat comes with uh, six different little metal staples but you know what I want to find out I want to find out if that's any improvement over mine or not. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Make this fair. We're going to use staples what we've already used before. That way you know that gun and that gun's got the same opportunity and they're same size so it really shouldn't matter. But we're going to get into these things here and find. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this. I'm just going to put this in this cutout right here find when it fits square first like that right there and this has got a bow in it so I'm not cutting either one of them any slack and we're just going to go ahead and put uh, let's see that's not a good choice for that one I mean for either one actually and that's for going around the corners we're not doing any corners right now <laughs> I guess we could if we wanted to. But here's what we're going to use. We're going to use these right here. And these are really, really a good one for going across straight cracks. 
even curved cracks and I'll show you why here in just a moment um, I've had some that has just a little longer curvature to them can you see that there we go anyway that's that's going to cover this crack pretty good so let me get say there's three for that one and we'll get three for this one over here if you can't put that together with six of these you didn't need to anyway now the trick is getting these things to turn loose of each other because they get packed in there well they won't want to fly or get it up somebody's step on like me and hurt make you cry you make you look ugly faces that ain't no good anyway we don't want to do that Wait a minute. I can't make no ugly faces. I already am old, fat, and ugly. So I'm, I apologize. Okay, so here we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm move that over there out of the way and this over out of the way. And I'm going to take this piece right here. And I'm going to point the camera right down at it. Hope I pronounced that for all your liking. Especially you English speaking peoples. Alright, can you see that? And what if I do this right here? Does that help any at all? What about there? Now I'm going to have to put that camera on. Whoa! Don't go any further. See if I can make that happen. I said whoa. It don't like to cooperate and the cameraman here really sucks. Terribly so. Can you all see that? Right there. Okay. So, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put one in this here, Chuck Sucker. And you put, where are you? You put this little staple right here. I know you all there somewhere. Put that little staple right into this. And when you get through with it, get through putting it in, it looks real simple to that. Where that camera's at. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to take this thing right here. I don't leave it like that. No, that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm not just making it hard on the little tool. I'm going to make it hard on Max. Boy, I'm always doing that for some reason. I don't understand that. All right, I'm going to put one right here. And now I haven't had this machine on in close to a year since I built it and used it on my motorcycle. So it may need to be charged, but it looks like it's going to work just fine. All right, you hold the trigger, push this down, and let that cool. And after it cools just a little bit, then you just pull that off there like that right there. Now, it comes with a set of side cutters. This high dollar one did not. So we've done one of those. So now we're going to take one of these. We're going to put it in this machine over here. It weighs five pounds. I'm just kidding, it ain't too heavy. Probably four and a half. Oh, look at here. Where y'all at? I know you're hiding there somewhere. Look at this. When you got that camera all blowed up like it, you can't, I don't know where we're at. But it's got threads in here, so that means we've got to get over here and find the nozzles or tips that goes in it. didn't come with no nozzles and tips to put in there. That would be embarrassing for that company. Well it sure didn't. Well what are we going to do? I got a machine what ain't usable. Well, I don't think I like that too much. Hmm. Okay there's nothing in there and there and there. And there's nothing in here, here and here. Well, how exactly does that work? Hmm. Well, I think my test has concluded that this is a pretty machine and I like the fact it's got a cooling fan on it and all that. But, 
I wanted to get hold of that con uh, contact that company to ask them where the tips are located because <laughs> you can't use it. So I guess what we'll have to do, we're going to have to contact this company right here and say, look, I didn't get any nozzle tips for this or the, the, uh, beats anything, whatever did see. Okay, well, I guess that concludes this test for now. At this point in time, I'm giving this the win. And I like it that subscribe button over there and that uh, and that like button that thumbs up hit that little bell over there and share these videos if you would you know I'm I'm uh, gonna be here for a little while longer so uh, we'll keep sending you videos of this sort of thing and uh, y'all just keep telling me what you want to see and I need to thank a couple old boys that sent me some stuff um, thinking of me and thought it was stuff I could use and I don't have it here handy I'm in a different building today so um, I will get that out and show everyone what they sent but for the time being Bob and Jesse appreciate you always and as we always say here at Max's Garage Mahal y'all come back see us now you hear? <laughs>